I'm at my favorite taco truck in the Bay Area, Mi Griense. I'm not saying it's the best taco truck, but I'm not saying it's not either, because it just might be. And it definitely is the OG, as you can say, as you can see, it's uh, Los Originales, which means the originals in Spanish. It's been here since 1985. As you may know, Anthony Bourdain came to this area. This is 29th and International in Oakland. This is East Oakland. This is the Fruitvale. This is where you get the best Mexican food in Oakland. Anthony Bourdain came here a few years ago and went to Taco Sinaloa, which is not Los Originales, and it's not as good, although it is very good. And since he went there, it blew up. They franchised this one at UC Berkeley. Migrante franchise too. This is Migrante number one. That's Migrante number two behind me. Yeah, they have two Migrantes in the same Goodwill parking lot. This is Goodwill over my shoulder, right? Here's where it all goes down, baby. This is the most prestigious place, the most majestic burrito. Usually I come here and get tacos because I'm trying to watch my weight. Get three tacos, carnitas, al pastor, carn carne asada, but then I'm looking at the guy getting the burrito. I'm like, oh, I want to be you. So when it's time for me to splurge and put like, like you know, 1,500 calories in two minutes, I come here and I'm about to eat a carne asada burrito. Don't know why I get carne asada with the burritos. I just love it. I think it's the best carne asada in, carne asada in the Bay. When I first started coming here in 05, it was 375 for a burrito. Now, it's $11, but it's worth it. Let's do this. All right, I just ordered, waiting for my food. Usually takes about 10 minutes to get your food. And I just want to point something out real quick. This is where I ordered, Migrante number one. There's always people here, always. There's always a line, there's always a wait. There's never anyone at Migrante number two, ever. It's the same menu, probably the same people. No one goes here, so I don't go here. Would you go there? I would never go there. I always wait here with the other people because it seems like it's better. I wouldn't know, never gone here, couldn't vouch for it. Don't go to Migrante number two. I can't speak for it. This one, Best taqueria in Oakland. This one, oh my God, I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> Food's almost here though. All right, I got my food. Here's what you get. First, you get some hot sauces. I, I, I tipped for a little extra because you can never have enough hot sauce, in my opinion. Then you get the sides, which come with it. You see what I'm saying? You get your jalapenos, your radish, and most importantly, your lime. You need lime. I think any burrito needs lime. Otherwise, it, the acidity, it's, it, it's required, in my opinion. And then, here's the burrito. So, what I like about this burrito, first off, it's not too big. Sometimes you go to a taqueria and they serve you a football. It's like, thank you very much, but I don't intend to eat a football. This alone is big enough. So there you go. They gotta give it to you with the foil. You gotta keep the foil on it. How you work the foil is a freaking art. It's very important. Take your first bite. Mm. Mm. You ever eat something that you like so much that you kind of moan in the first few bites? It's just like, oh God, it's that good. It's, and I haven't even put the hot sauce or the lime on it yet because you can't for the first two bites. You gotta, you gotta crack the seal. Mm. Mm. It's so good. All right, so here we go. Now, the first two bites are not the best two bites, although they're the ones that hit you the hardest. Now you start putting in the lime. You know what I'm saying? Now you crack the hot sauce, boom, oh. And just, you know what I'm saying? Lime, hot sauce, two bites, and then you move on. Here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. And you see, it's not that much. It's rice, pinto beans, the right amount of carne asada, not a ton of freaking meat. Not like 14 ounces of ribeye steak. No, it's just enough. And then you got some, some sour cream and some cheese. That's it. It's all, but what more would you need? Mm. So here's the thing. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I shouldn't, I always feel bad about myself afterward because it's huge. And you like need to take a, a nap. But I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, I'm looking at this right now. This looks like two more bites, four more bites, 
six to eight more bites and then I'm done with this. But what happens is it starts to really hit you like a ton of bricks. All of a sudden you get tired, you start sweating. Not yet though, we haven't had four bites so far. I think I got four more in me before you start really questioning what you want to accomplish and what you're doing with your life. Mm. 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 Yeah, I see dude over my shoulder. Don't worry. Head in a swivel. I'm from Oakland. Don't worry. I'm sure he's a cool guy. But I'm aware. Mm. Mm. So, I'm about halfway done now. And really, you don't need to go any further. You could just stop, be full for the rest of the day, eat this at dinner. But to me, burrito is best right when they make it. Because they got that hot cold thing going on, right? You got the hot meat and the beans and the rice but then the cold sour cream and it just isn't as good in four hours after it's been in the uh fridge so then once you, you start having these like can i do it have one more bite one more i can do one more bite it's like you're running a marathon do i have to quit now you're not have to quit now i just spent 11 dollars on this you kidding me and so you sort of eat it until you're uncomfortable which is i think that's the mark of your favorite food. Something you would eat way beyond the point of when you're still hungry. Mm. Mm. What's up, man? That's how you do it. Always make eye contact, say what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's game right there, baby. Anyway, I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to make you watch me eat the whole thing. But I am going to eat the whole thing. Because... This is America, and I'm Grant Cone. 